Hello YouTube, Statue Hunter 75 here with Statue Hunter's Bags and Boards, episode number 77. New comic book Wednesday is upon us. This is June 19th, Wednesday, June 19th of 2019. Um, first stop of the day was at Harrison's Comics, where I picked up this trout, number one of four by Dark Horse Comics. Um, absolutely no idea what this book is all about, but I figured I'd give it a check. You know, just because uh, it's uh, issue number one. Um, <clears throat> ended up picking up Lab Raider number one. Um, picked up a couple copies of this because it was a number one issue. Uh, this is uh, a pair of young vigilantes break into a lab to liberate lab animals only to become the prey of weaponized creatures. So who knows where that will go. So picked up a couple of those. Picking up this book too, this is a new number one that came out from Valiant Comics this week. It's called Psylords number one. And this right here is the, I believe this is the pre-order edition variant. And there weren't many of this in the stores, so maybe that's a low print run. So picked up that one. It's basically the reintroduction of the Psylords for astronauts who wake up in an alien prison with no recollection of how they got there. Um, also, another book this week that came out, Yusagi Yojimbo, or Yohimbo. It's the premiere issue of a new series written and illustrated by Yusagi Yohimbo, creator Stan Sakai, uh, with uh, his new publisher, IDW. Um, Picked up Samurai Jack number two, Lost Worlds, just because it's a pretty hot cartoon. Um, so I grabbed that. This book looks really sick, really hot cover. Cover A and cover B looks good too. It's um, Steve Okoye, the uh, DJ. It's his book, Neon Future. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty good so far. Um, so there's no real major solicitation about it or any like first appearances or anything. Another just good read and it's Boston based and has a two with the MBTA, which is kind of cool from Dark Horse Comics. It's last stop on the red line number two. So grab that just because it's a Boston book. Um, picked up Crucified number one. Now this is from Scout Comics. And this book right here is uh, basically a contract killer suffers a crisis of conscience when he encounters his target, an individual known as the Messiah who recently stopped in L.A. <clears throat> who, who recently stopped in L.A. LA riot with one word. Um, from Mad Cave Comics, Honor and Curse, just continuing on with that, is issue number five. And continuing on with another hot one, um, Faithless. This is, uh, I think, the cover B. Um, this is Faithless number three, issue number three. And, of course, there was the Exotic Erotica cover. So I picked up that one I opened just, just to check out the cover. Curiosity killed the cat here. <laughs> and I picked up a few more and kept them sealed because the erotic covers usually are pretty hot. Um, cool second printing of Silver Surfer Black number one. Really cool there with the uh, Venom God there. Symbiote God or whatever. And also picked up Drawing Blood number two, which is Kevin Eastman's series. Picked up cover A and cover B, just in case that goes anywhere. <clears throat> Moving on, then the next stop of the day was over. Oh, wait, one one key, key book that I picked up at Harrison's this morning was the first appearance. I've been wanting to get this for a while, and they had a copy. Picked it up in the collection that he got recently, and that's the Hawkman number four, Silver Age, from, you know, see, it was 12 cents only. That's the first appearance of Zatanna, really cool DC character. So. Snag that up for a great price. Very happy to have that in the collection. Probably get that graded down the road. Then the next stop of the day was on words to my good friend Anthony over at Paper Asylum from Cabot Street in Beverly. And picked up Shadow Play number five. That's a scout comic. Anthony always comes through with getting those independent comics that 
you never can really find anywhere else. There's real no, really no key about this issue. Um, just the, those Skull Comics have been pretty hot, so I picked it up for shits and giggles. Uh, Shadow Plane number five. Moving right along, uh, the next book I grabbed was another copy of Last Stop on the Red Line number two. Once uh, from Skull Comics number four. Uh, Once Our Land number two, volume four, number four. Uh, picked up, he just had some uh, books from the past weeks that I didn't pick up. The Guidance of the Galaxy Annual Variant. Um, of course, this was a hot cover. Um, Deadpool, number 13. That really cool variant from Mighty Groundhog. And then, of course, the Nightmare on Elm Street variant. And back to this week's books. Uh, really cool Mark Brooks variant cover for Deadpool, number 14. Love that with the Iron Spider on there. And another past book from uh, the past week, Zero Gravity number one from Scout Comics. So I picked that up. I, I grabbed that last week as well, but eh, it's a number one issue. So, And moving on to the last stop of the day. Like I said, it was kind of a slow week because usually I have way more books. But, um, uh, not that I shouldn't be cutting back. <laughs> so the next stop of the day ended me at... Um, Counterplay Comics in Burlington, and that is where I picked up this book right here, um, Superman Year One from the DC Black Label Collection. Uh, that's with the group that brought you Batman Damned, with the you know Little Wayne <laughs> as everyone refers to it. This one wasn't quite as graphic or controversial, of course, because they've tamed down, which is kind of pathetic. Because why call it a black label and then not have anything graphic or outlandish in it for adults, but whatever. And this book basically is the origin of Superman. It's a 3 five mini miniseries written by Frank Miller. So, yeah, it's, you know, black label. It's sold out at most places, so even though, I don't know, I thought it could have been better with what was inside. Show something a little graphic at least. There's the Frank Miller variant. <clears throat> so I picked up a copy of each each cover. And moving right along, picked up another copy of the uh, Mark Brooks variant. Picked up cover A of The Faithless that we were discussing earlier. And picked up Guardians of the Galaxy number 6, the variant with Silver Surfer, which is just a really cool variant. And the Guardians of the Galaxy number 6, basically what's going on with that is uh, it's the first team appearance of the Dark Guardians merged with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And also has Thanos resurrected in this issue, so should be pretty good. Uh, picked up that was that was the also the variant cover art by Gerard Perot. <clears throat> it's a 25th anniversary tribute to Marvels. Um, what was next on the agenda? Next on the agenda was Justice League number 26, and Justice League number 26 is the first full appearance of Apex Lex Luthor. So I also picked up the variant cover, just because it's the first appearance. Went on to pick up Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales' Spider-Man number 7. You know, the last issue introduced the granddaughter of uh, the Vulture. So I got it just in case uh, there was something in there. I don't think there was anything crazy. Oh, it was the... Um, first cameo appearance of a new villain so there you have it picked up another yet another copy of a boston based book to our last stop in the red line picked up another the cover a of that guardians of the galaxy number six and i picked up the other three covers of Psylords number one which are all really cool covers and picked up Batman 73, that was not a fart, that was me on my leather chair, by the way. <laughs> if you can hear it, that's just me on the leather chair. <laughs> um, oh, my, that was me, I bought it. <laughs> Batman 73 right there. Um, not sure if there was any key to that. Let's give a peek. Nope. So, just a really cool variant cover that I liked. So, that was a cover buy for me. And also picked up 
a cover by me, the Battle Lines variant here. I love that, Captain America. And of course, picked up yet another copy of Crucified Number One. Not just a cover by right here, Captain Marvel Number Seven variant. I just love that Spider Man costume. Cover by right here, Tony Stark Iron Man Number Thirteen, because this is the Clayton Crane variant. Uh, just one of my favorite all-time favorite eyes, Clayton Crane. Look at that. That looks sick with Galactus. That's a sick cover. Uh, also picked up Spider-Man City at War. Reason bought this because I love that new Spider-Man PlayStation game costume. And I picked up yet another copy of Yo Jimbo uh, or Usage Yo Jimbo number one. And I picked up the 1 in 10 variant. And that wraps everything up for this week. No crazy um mail calls or anything um you know what i did pick up some other books maybe i should just video them right now i think i will also there's a comic con coming up for those of you in the northeast area um terrific con and it's at mohegan sun august 9th 10th and 11th so that'll be coming up at the end of the summer um there's all the information there for you so i just thought i'd let you guys know who are local to the area if you want to pause it and read all these people, that's who's going to be there. So that's some of their highlights of their con. All right, guys. Um, all right, let's 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 do it real quick. I'll show you some uh, other books that I picked up. Uh, picked up a copy of Naomi number one, which I, very, which I will be selling. Uh, picked up X-Men number six. Just uh, kind of a cool, actually, <laughs> it's live, uh, Jim Lee. Cool Jim Lee art right there. Uh, picked up X Factor number two. There is uh, small keys to these books, nothing major. Um, picked up X Factor number 15. I think this is when Angel loses his wings or something like that. Uh, also picked up X Factor number 17. I think that's a small key. And of course, X Factor number 25. We're just kind of clearing out the small keys uh, going through the X Factors in Counterplay Comics. That's where I got all these X Factors and these old ones. Metal and Prayer Goblin Queen. I think this was his, her origin. X Factor number 38. And of course, Picked up a copy of X Force number eight. This is somebody's maybe Cable's uh, something to do with her first appearance somehow. Picked up a copy of Batman number four fifty seven. I think it's the first uh, Tim Drake. And picked up a copy of X Men number eight. To get the significance to that but you guys can look it up if you so wish um, picked up a copy of x-men number 96 which i think was the big thing about this was it was wolverine's first berserker rage in this book and really cool fantastic four number 31 haven't really been buying many fantastic fours as of late now that we uh, marvel have the license back to him uh, maybe that'll pick up uh, the Fantastic Four franchise. What am I talking about? Am I tired and just rambling? Anyway, this was something to do with Mole Man. That was Wolverine's first Berserker Rage in the comics. Uh, something to do with Mole Man in this. I don't think it's very first appearance, but there was something key about that. Also picked up X-Men number five, which is the second appearance of Omega Red, because X-Men number four is his first appearance. Really cool Jim Lee cover out as well. Um, and another cool Jim Lee cover at X-Men number 7. No significance to this other than just a really cool half cover there of Wolverine and Omega Red. So that's everything, alright? Um, I thank you guys for watching. Oh, wait, one last little bonus. Can never just end the video. Uh, Eric also had some really cool, he sold them to me at a great price. Really cool little, uh, manga. Street Fighter manga books, but the cool thing about these is they are actually like right from Japan. So, just cool stuff in them.
that's one. And this was the other one. Just really cool how it worked. Now you see a bookmark with Japanese writing on it. So it was from Japan. Very authentic Japanese book. And that's that's all. Finally wrap it up. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up if you like the books that I got or the content that I brought you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all your support. And have a great evening, guys. Have a good going into the weekend pretty soon. Tomorrow's going to be Thursday. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. All right, thanks for watching.